Hello, today I will do the resistance test with the 121 gigawatt EB block uh, multimeter. Let's start measuring resistance mode. Yes, the last time I didn't really show the box. EB block, no bullshit packaging. White, white. Made in Korea. So it went all the way from Korea to Sydney down under Sydney and then all the way came back to um, Japan, Tokyo again. And for me, two reasons. Most of the time I use the resist, a measuring resistor is when I buy a resistor, the color code keep getting smaller. Some of, some of the surface melt. I need to, my eye is getting old so need to get the exact value with the multimeter and another thing is after I sold it I do not believe my soldering so I check the resistance between the leads so I'm going to, going to do the both today and as somebody mentioned in the um, forum auto ranging speed on the this 121 gigawatt multimeter it says it's slow so let me try that's when well, we have three of this today so auto ranging one two three four five six seven seven seconds dead short seven seconds again one two three four five uh, that was uh, like four or something Again, one, two, three, four, so th three, seven seconds and sometimes more than, less than four seconds, but more than three. Doesn't, I'm trying a few times and never gets faster than three seconds. And uh, another one way is to check the auto ranging is hold on both of these with the, both hands. I will try it now one two oh so that was quick seven zero point eight mega ohm zero point seven or zero point eight mega ohm zero point nine mega ohm one mega ohm so that was about a little more than one second uh, two three uh, that that took uh, about three seconds one two three yeah, that took about three seconds. Well, then let's measure, let's do the same thing with the three meters. I don't know how much is this useful. Keysight U21, uh, U1241B. Uh, 1241 Stay short. One, yeah, one second. Again. One, yeah, about a little more than one second. Yeah, but one. Yeah, it's about one second. And holding with both both hands, it's almost immediate. Almost immediate, like almost immediate, like less less than a second. Zero point one ming ohm, one seven hundred ming ohm. It depends on my skin where I touch the skin. Let's let's do the same with the heel key. Then start with a dead short. One, 0 0.0, 0 0.1. Okay, and now again, 0 0.0, 0 0.1. One, yeah, it's about one second. And touching the both hands. Yeah. Okay. It's about, I can't, before I say one, it, one yeah just a little bit l less than one second so it seems like uh about the same speed 0 0.8 0 0.9 one mega ohm it depends on where i touch the skin okay then measuring the real resistor this is 1 ohm, 1% 1 res resistor. 
it doesn't mean it, it really is going to be 1% accuracy with this resistor but um, for today it just wants to check the speed of the auto ranging speed I use this one ohm resistor as a shunt resistor sometimes to converting measuring voltage and converting in my head to the current so I'm going to start one two three four five six six seconds one point zero two two and I have a heater on so the room temperature is going to keep rising so the measurement might drift between the meters meters okay I'm going to do again one two three four four seconds 1.024 nice resolution on, until going down to milli ohms okay one two three four four seconds okay so sometimes seems to be uh three it, it doesn't go under three seconds but no mostly four seconds let me try with the others so let, let me try with the key side U1241B let me try one yeah 1.0 ohm and when one second okay over over overload range one yeah one second one so one second for the key side okay doing the same with the heel key one yeah one point two one one point one one point two I haven't no out with where to mode one one point one one point two so it's about one second okay then let's let's do the measurement on the real board normally I check when the I squared C is not working is pull up resistor is not solder correctly so um, and this should be around 200 K Three, uh, one ninety one point six three K. One, yeah, it's it's relatively fast. It, it took taking only about one second. What one, two, three? Uh, sometimes it takes three seconds. One ninety one point six seven kilo ohm. And next one is two point two kilo ohm. One, two, three, th three, a little more than three seconds. Two point two, zero zero six. Z okay, one, two, yeah, two point two zero six. And again, one, two, three, yeah. It's less than three seconds, even using auto range. Do the same with the other two. So this should be around 200k. Well, yeah, that's fast. Immediately touching 199.6 kilo ohm, five or. 199.56 and next one should be 2.2 2.201 okay 2.201 it's it it shows up less than one second just after touching it do the same with 
여기 So let's do it with a hiyoki. Then this should be around 200. Well, that's fast. 199.0 or 199.0. Yes. 199.0. So it looks about the same with the key site. This, this should be around 2.2. 2 point, yeah, after just touching it, it shows up. So 2.202 again, 2.2, yeah, again, 2.203, yeah, okay. So, how we how, let's try not using auto range on the 121 gigawatt multimeter. Does it going to help improving the speed? Because this one, you know the measure. Uh, it's it's it, this is one ohm. Okay, for the one ohm, one yeah one second one point zero four two. Okay, try again. One one yeah about one second one point zero two three. So if if you turn on auto ranging, it's about one second or something. One. Yeah, one second or some little bit. And for the surface mount resistors, yeah, 5000K mode, so 191.54 immediately shows immediately if I touch it. 191 before one second less than a second well less than a second 2.2 2.3 yeah let's change it to yeah five kilo ohm range for the 2.2 resistor 2.200878 immediately touching it 2.2007 consistent so if you turn off the auto ranging, yes, it's a, it will take about it, it's it's definitely it's quicker, definitely less than one second. That seems to be the result. Well, that's not bad. Being slow for the auto ranging seems to be hap happens on the resistance. Didn't happen on the voltage when I did it yesterday. Only it seems to be um, on resistance. And if you don't like it, you could always do it old ways old school manual range multimeter and pretty much if you touch it it shows up automatically almost immediately today i was able to do the measurement of the resistance mode comparing auto range with other two meters and yes turning off manual auto range to manual speeds up well and also there's so many things I wanted. I want to do the do the review. 15 volt diode range doesn't have it with these. Also, PC logging. I don't have the option with these. It's this one is built in, and auto hold. Yes, all has an auto hold, but um, yes, um, my old or, or the multimeter didn't have an auto hold. It only had a classic hold which was really annoying and I want to try the auto hold so many things I don't know how I could do the video every day like this yet like from yesterday and today when I have a time and one more thing before finishing the video I found out the really nice details okay the details EB blog yeah. Okay, thank you.